All right, so dilations are the last. We save the best for last because these are super real-world applicable. Um, you've done this daily. Anytime you've looked at a map that has a legend and a scale, um, it's when something's been reduced or when something's been enlarged. And so like model homes, blueprints for homes, um, anything like that is going to be um, – using the the idea of a dilation so it's a reduction or an enlargement of something so without even putting coordinates to it just to give you an idea let's say i draw a little rhombus right here and then i'm like oh so uh, maybe the lengths of this are two on each side and if i apply a dilation or we call it a scale factor as well um, the scale factor is how much you either want to shrink it or you want to enlarge it. So if I say I'm going to apply a scale factor of three, then that means it's going to be three times larger than what you see. So the pre-image would look like this, and then the image would be a little bit bigger. So these will be three times longer than they were before. So how long would they be, everybody? Well, hopefully, y'all know that it's six. And right now, I'm glad I didn't use a triangle. Some of you will get that. And what I'm going to do is, is just quit right there. So how does this work on the coordinate plane? Well, it's really easy, guys. It's just that you take your points. And if you have an XY, like let's say this had an XY, XY, XY everywhere, you would just take all of the XYs and multiply them by 3, and that would give you all the new XYs. So it's actually not bad at all. So let's go back to this, okay? And let's fill out a few of the notes. So uh, with, dilation, with dilations, we're talking about, um, I'm going to just say the reduction or enlargement of something reduction or enlargement of a figure. Um, the blank blank indicates how much the figure will, it's called the scale factor from our last little discussion. And then we need a variable. So you can use whatever variable you want. This uh, assignment is going to use the variable k. Okay, so k is going to tell you how large to make something or how small to make something. And it's really not that difficult to comprehend because if k is larger than 1, so if k, like in this one, 2, or the one that we just did, we had a scale factor of 3, um, then the dilation is going to be an enlargement. But if you used, if you wanted to make something reduce, take a good guess at that, guys. If we wanted to make a reduction, well, we don't need a bigger number here. We need a smaller number. So it's going to be between 0 and 1. It's going to be some sort of a little fraction like 1 half, 1 third, 3 fourths, 2 thirds, whatever. But rest, e rest assured, even if it's a fraction, you're not going to wig out on me because it's just going to be multiplying the coordinates. Okay? So let's do an example where I will start with my pre-image and then I will find the new one. So RST has vertices negative 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so there's R. S is negative 3, positive 4. And T is 2, negative 1. All right, so here's my, I'm going to try to draw straight lines. Here's my pre-image. And then um, I need to apply a scale factor of 2. So a scale factor of 2 means twice as large. Twice as large. Um, so it's in, a, in an enlargement. And the easiest way is really and truly just uh, multiply, multiply coordinates by 2. Coordinates, if I can spell, by k which is 2. So um, that's all I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to do the this one I don't like to try to do from the picture ever because it's hard for my brain. I would just do it here. I would like take R and double it. So it's now going to be negative 10, 2. I'm just multiplying by 2 guys. S multiply by 2, negative 6, 8. And then T multiply by 2. There we go. So hopefully if you're a good multiplier then you'll be fine. And then we re-graph. So negative 10, 2. I'm going to shut up. I, I'm going to try to shut up and graph. And you can do the same. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38
our prime. Negative 6, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, What is that one? S prime? Okay. T prime. Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. And then I'm going to connect the dots, and it should look like it's been pulled twice as far away from the origin as the red one. So see, it's like lots bigger, uh, or it looks lots bigger. But if we measured, that's what's cool about this, if we measured the length of that, if we measured the length of that, we could do the distance formula if we really wanted to. Then we could do the distance formula of these, and guess what would happen? twice as big and so we could prove it like that if we wanted uh, I don't really care to right now but anyways you can see how to handle it when you just have coordinates okay um, this one's gonna have a reduction of a one-half I'm actually not gonna graph it for the sake of time in the video but I will just show you it really is as easy guys it's just multiplying your points so when you go to get your answers you're just gonna multiply these by one-half so remember multiplying by one-half the same as dividing by 2. So it shouldn't be that bad and this is a very nice problem because all the numbers are even and so you won't have fractions over here. L I'm cutting it in half, M I'm cutting it in half and then once I draw the original and the new one it'll look half as big. That's all you have to do. The next one uh, this is fun. Identify the scale factor used to graph the image below. Don't get overwhelmed with the picture. What you want to do is pick your favorite letter, D, E, or F. I'm going to go with D because my name starts with a D, so that's my favorite. I like to pick these two, and basically I just I go out to the side and um, I choose the pre-image point first. So the pre-image, guys, is the one without the primes. So the pre-image D is this point up here, okay? So what is that point? Oh my gosh, where's the axis? Okay, there's the origin. One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like the point zero, six. Then I take D prime which is the image, and I find that point, right? So that point looks like it's at 0, 2. And my question always to myself is like, okay, how did I get from the pre-image to the image? So what is what did I multiply by? What did I multiply 0, 6 by to equal 0, 2? So you could think of it as even a formula. K times this point equals that point. Well, what can you multiply 6 by to get a 2? A 1 -third. So that's how you can do your scale factor to find K is just look at getting from one point to the next. It's either going to be a fraction or a whole number depending on did it get smaller or did it get bigger. But that's how it goes and I love dilations and they're fun and I think you'll agree and uh, you've almost made it to the end of the chapter. Congratulations. Um, there's probably a review to attached as well so you guys could give that a try uh, to make sure you remember how to do everything and then we'll We'll do some more fun stuff together, um, hopefully, before we take a test. All right. See you later.